Barbara Zaleva Vistrel one half Kova is a professional Czech tennis player. Her highest WTA singles ranking has been world number 31, a ranking she achieved on July 7, 2014. Career, early years, Strel one half Kova was a strong junior player, winning two Grand Slams in girls singles, the 2002 Australian Open and then defending that title at the 2003 Australian Open. She also won three Grand Slam girls doubles titles between 2001 and 2003. She reached world number one in both singles and doubles on the junior rankings, achieving both in 2002, and was named the ITF Junior World Champion that same year. In her junior career, she beat several players who went on to become notable professionals such as Maria Sharapova, Annalena Graparagrafenfeld, Tatiana Gulovin, Shaha Paya and Maria Kirilenko. Turning professional in 2003, Stra one half Kova had already worked her ranking into the top 300 after some good results in ITF women's circuit events over 2002. She continued to play mostly ITF circuit events throughout the year, and made her Grand Slam debut at Wimbledon, qualifying and losing in the first round to Tatiana Peribinis. She finished the year ranked world number 161. 2004 turned out to be the year that Stra one half Kova stepped up considerably. She began the year by qualifying for the Australian Open and then reached a fourth round at the WTA tournament in Indian Wells, beating seeded player Eleni Danilo before losing to Justine Hunin, a result that broke her into the top 100 for the first time. She recorded another notable win over Anna Smashnova in Amelia Island and won her first two Grand Slam main draw matches at the Australian Open and French Open. After hitting a rough patch in the middle part of the season, she finished the year strongly by reaching her first WTA semi-final at an event in Guangzhou and winning an ITF event in saint Raphael, France. She finished the season ranked world number 56. Stra one half Kova's progress took a step backwards in 2005 dropping out of the top 100 in the world after failing to back up her breakthrough season and winning just 17 matches throughout the season. Despite this, she achieved some notable results in doubles, reaching for WTA doubles finals and winning the title on two of those occasions. 2006 also began poorly for her in singles, as she struggled to string together wins and subsequently dropped out of the top 200 of the world rankings in April 2006 before recovering slightly after some good results in ITF events. She married her coach between the 2006 and 2007 seasons. In 2007, Zar Lovavistra one half Kova played mostly on the ITF circuit once more and achieved some good results, reaching several semi-finals throughout the season, but still sat outside the top 100. After a few years seemingly in limbo, Zar Lovavistra one half Kova's plugging away at ITF events finally managed to bring with it some results by 2008, winning titles in Fort Walton Beach, Reading and Szczecin, Poland and reaching the second round in WTA events in Amelia Island and Charleston. She qualified for Wimbledon and made the third round of a Grand Slam for the first time in her career thus returning to the top 100, where she remained until the end of the season, her second top 100 year-end finish. 2009, Zar Lovavistra one half Kova failed to make any progress in her first five tournaments of the season, including at the Australian Open where she lost to star copyright Fanny Cohen Alaro, but she enjoyed some success in two small tournaments in Mexico, reaching the semi-finals in Acapulco and the quarter-finals in Monterrey, beating top-20 player Flavia Pinetta at the latter event. Following that, she returned to struggling ways, losing her opening match in all but three tournaments up to July. She fell out of the top 100 after Wimbledon, where she was defending third-round points, by losing in the first round to equal Tarina Makarova. Zar Lovavistra one half Kova's results improved during the latter part of the year, starting with a quarter-final appearance at the WTA event in Bad Gastein, as well as reaching the doubles final in Prague. She then played a $25,000 in Trnava, Slovakia, where she reached the semi-finals, before qualifying and winning her first round match at the US Open, losing to Victoria Azarenka in the second round. She built on these performances in ITF women's circuit events at the end of the season, winning the $100,000 plus H event in Ortiz I, Italy, 
and the $50,000 plus H event is Ismaining, Germany, and worked her way back into the top 100 for the end of the season. In doubles, she won two straight events at the WTA tournaments in Quebec City and Luxembourg, her fourth and fifth WTA doubles titles. 2010 At the 2010 Australian Open, Zara Lovavistra won half Kova won her first round against Regina Kulikova in a match that lasted 4 hours and 19 minutes a Euro breaking the record for longest match in women's Grand Slam history. She lost in the second round to Dinara Safina. In February and March, she won three doubles titles in Paris, Acapulco and Monterey, her sixth, seventh and eighth tournament wins in the doubles discipline. At the French Open, Zar Lovavistra won half Kova lost in first round to Rosanna de los Ranos, before reaching the third round of a Grand Slam for the second time at Wimbledon, where she beat Elena Vesnina and Daniela Hantuchuba and lost to Maria Sharapova. Her Wimbledon performance boosted her confidence and thus at the Prague Open she managed to make the first singles final of her career, dismantling Patty Schneider with the loss of only two games in the semi-finals. In the final, she lost to a GNES Tsar Bay. As a result of her recent form, she rose into the top 50 for the first time in singles following Prague. Tsar Lovavistra won half Kova continued to enjoy success in doubles for the rest of the season. With her regular partner Avita Benia over, she won the biggest title of her career at the Premier 5 tournament in Tokyo, and then partnered Renata Vora Infinite over to win Linz, helping her to finish the season in the top 20 of the doubles ranking. In singles competition, she struggled to build on her strong summer results, failing to advance in six of the ten tournaments she played following Prague, among them a first-round loss at the U.S. Open to Maria Kirilenko thus dropping to world number 69 by the end of the year. 2011, Zar Lovavistra won half Kova defeated Marina Erikovic in the final of the 2011 Bell Challenge to claim her first WTA singles title. 2013, Zar Lovavistra won half Kova was banned for six months, backdated to October 16, 2012 until April 15, 2013, for doping. The ban disqualified all results during the period of the ban and mandates the return of all prizes won during that period. Tsar Lovavistra won half Kova made her return at the 2013 Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Stuttgart. She lost in first round of qualifying to Maya Jana Luaia Baroni. In the first round of doubles, she and partner Julia Gar Paragraph RGES lost to the pairing of Liesel Huber and Jeanette Hosarova. In May, she won the 2013 Empire Slovak Open, a $75,000 ITF event, and her first tournament win since coming back from her ban. 2014, at the 2014 Wimbledon Championships, she defeated Caroline Wozicki in the fourth round in straight sets after a struggle at the end of the second, during which Wozicki defended four match points. Advancing to a Grand Slam singles quarter-final for the first time, she lost in straight sets to eventual champion, compatriot Petra Kvitova. Court demeanor, she is noted for her changeover tantrums and racket abuse. In 2008 at the Bausch and Lom Championships threw her tennis racket, slammed it against her shoe and the ground, and yelled at herself and the chair umpire. In 2010 at Wimbledon, in a match against Maria Sharapova she twice slammed her racket on the ground. Personal life she is related to tennis player Sandra Zar Lovava by marriage. A Euro, she is married to Zar Lovava's cousin, former tennis player, Jakub Herm Zar Lava. He is also her coach, having been in that position since 2007. Significant finals Premier Mandatory Premier 5 finals, doubles, WTA finals, singles, 4, doubles, Grand Slam performance timeline, singles, doubles, references. External links, Barbara Zar Lovavistra won half Kova at the Women's Tennis Association, Barbara Zar Lovavistra won half Kova at the International Tennis Federation, Barbara Zar Lovavistra won half Kova at the Fed Cup.